What is up guys? Welcome to this video. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how you can turn a pair of Fusion Air Jordan 1s into a pair of Panda 1 Highs. Personally, I'm not the biggest fan of the current colorway. Not to say it's a horrible colorway, but for me, I want an everyday shoe that I can dress around a little bit easier. And honestly, having that black and that white, you really can't go wrong. So I'll kind of show you guys my process, what it involves. It's going to be using a little bit of dye, a little bit of Angelus black paint. Obviously, prep is key, so we're gonna be prepping the shoe with Angelus de Glazer, and then obviously finishing off that project with the brand new product and finisher by Angelus, which is known as Forco. What I love about this Forco is it lays down a lot easier, it's a lot more of a matte color, and it protects your shoes a lot more. So if you guys haven't been plugged into the new product by Angelus, I highly, highly, highly recommend this. Anyways, with all that stuff being said, guys, let's go ahead and hop into this video and turn this not-so-hot pair into something that you guys enjoy wearing. Obviously, you want to get your cotton round and get some Angelus de Glazer on there and really work the uppers. You really want to make sure you're rubbing enough that you can see some of the red come onto the cotton round. That's really going to let you know that you're doing your job. And it's really important if you want to go ahead and have that paint adhere properly or, in this case, dye. I also rubbed the Wings logo off completely, that way the Wings logo later is going to adhere the right way. Now don't get me wrong, I love my Angelus paint, but if I can get away with using dye, I'm always going to opt for dye. For this custom I wanted something to be a little bit more durable. Obviously when you dye that leather it's going to be a lot more permanent than just paint. Using dye, if you can notice, I leave a hairline under that dye between the midsole and the upper because later I'm going to come in there with a paintbrush. You also don't want to run the risk of getting dye on that midsole because then it's game over. Now we can go ahead and kind of paint up those edges that we left, giving it that nice clean look. And what's nice about this is if you actually get paint on the midsole, you can obviously rub it off. Where if you had dye, you know you may be kind of out of luck. So just be really careful and it's really important that you leave that little bit of space so you can come in and paint it later. Now, if you guys haven't used Mist, I do not know what you're doing. Mist is a true game changer. It's a great primer, especially when you're changing those darker colors to light ones. So that's just about one to two light coats of Mist. Now when it comes to using an airbrush, I'm a huge fan. Not only does it lay layers down that are going to be a lot more thin, it's going to be a lot more even, preventing strokes that you get when you paint by hand. So obviously you do a one-to-one -one ratio, which is just 50% rubbing alcohol, 50% paint. And if you can look at that, it sprays on nice and even every time. And this is the result you can kind of expect. So I went ahead and dyed all the uppers. You can also paint over the leather dye with a thin coat of black if you want. But for me, once you lay that finisher on, you're really not gonna tell a difference. And this one's huge. I see a lot of artists who may kind of cut corners. They may not do all those little minute details. In my opinion, that edge work really, really ties everything together.
For the Wings logos, I use a Cameo silhouette. They have a program on there. The dimensions are right there. Go ahead and screenshot that. It's a pretty damn good size. So we'll print these stencils out and lay those down and get ready to paint them on. And you always want to go through with an X-Acto blade and make sure every little part of that stencil is out. You can kind of see right there there's a spot that I didn't get out. Now we'll lay down all the letters individually. And I have always had a lot more success painting my stencils on opposed to using the toothpick and going in there and painting every little detail. Comes out a lot more clean and it's a lot easier. Not to mention it saves a lot of time. Now that we got taped up, super light coats, so you don't need to go crazy on this. The more coats you do, really you kind of run the risk of peeling that paint off and you don't want to waste all that hard work. But bada bing, bada boom, super clean. Now these little details really set the custom off. You always got to go back in and paint the stitching on the two swooshes along with the heel counterpart, really making sure that this looks factory as possible. And then here we go with the Angelus 4 coat. Go ahead and spray on two super light coats. It's really gonna make that sheen turn into a nice matte factory look. And that's what I'm always going for. Not only will it give it that nice sheen, it's really gonna protect the uppers and really make that shoe just pop. And that's it. There we have it guys, that was my process. Happy to share this video with you guys. If you guys like this content, please just drop a like. Feel free to uh, subscribe to the channel. Um, but for this shoe, it was something so simple and kind of like I said at the start of the video, I really just wanted a shoe that I could wear a little bit more and kind of style around. So until the next one guys, peace.